What's going on, guys? Uh, I just uh, want to make a very short video. And uh, what I plan on doing, I plan on making like a better presentation on the topic I'm about to talk, what I'm about to speak on. But I just uh, making this like very short video uh, to give props to the, you can say, the forefathers of Red Pill, MGTOW, Manosphere, whatever you want to call it. Because I know that uh, you have like a lot of people coming in to the Red Pill, you know, a lot of men coming into it. You know, they know the big names, but they don't really know like uh, the people who laid the foundation of Red Pill, Big Town, Manosphere, whatever you want to call it. So this is just going to be a very short video. I think like uh, maybe like in the future, I put, I put together like a much better presentation. But I'm just going to make this short. I'm just going to give you uh, some names of individuals that a lot of the newbies who coming into the spirit don't know about. And uh, I just uh, first I want to give a shout out to one of the founders of what is MGTOW, uh, Barbarossa, who go, let me go on YouTube, goes by Barbar. Bar. Just type in Barbar Bar on YouTube and, you know, He'll, he'll show, you know, he'll, he'll have all his videos, you know, on this page. And, uh, you know, he doesn't post a lot. Actually, uh, if you go on Barbar's uh, YouTube page, YouTube YouTube channel, uh, his videos go all the way back to 2009. And uh, I think this year he posted like two videos, gave you like some updates about what he's doing. But, uh, I think that uh, like a lot of the early guys, I think they, uh, you know, they started out doing YouTube videos and then they went went about their lives, uh, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I think the same thing applies with uh, Barbarossa. So uh, when he had a chance, go on YouTube, just watch his early, his early stuff. And uh, he's like one of the OGs, you know, in the, in the MGTOW sphere, you know, him and uh, along with... Um, uh, there's some other guys I'm not really too familiar with. I know Barbarossa. I know um, TFM, Turf Link and Monkey, and Sandman. He's still making videos. He, they're like one of the OGs of Big Tao. But I'm not really too familiar with people like Stardust, Thinking Ape, and uh, some other ones. Uh, I've seen like a few of the videos, but I'm not like too familiar with them. But I know about Barbarossa. So we'd get a chance... Uh, just go on this uh, channel, uh, all his all his old videos from way 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 back to the Obama era. <laughs> Going back, you know, what I'm saying he got some videos talking about Obama. His first video talking about, you know, what I'm saying, but it shows you how far back um, MGTOW goes. You know, you know he's like one, you know, one of the founding fathers of it. So we get a chance, uh, you know, just get like a good foundation about where this movement came from. Just go back, uh, just watch his videos, uh, you know what I'm saying, going way, way back, <laughs> nine years, ten years ago, uh, shit, he, he's, he's going to go all the way back to 11 years ago, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, 12, 12 years ago, going back to the Bomber era, so we did get a chance, uh, check out his brother's videos, and also, I can say this right here. You know, I've been around for like a long, long time. I'm not saying that I'm old. I'm not saying I'm an old guy. But I think a lot of people within the red pill have to get familiar with um, Brother Phil Valentine back in the day. Uh, people within like the black conscious circle, you know, if you're, if you're into like the... Uh, the black conscious movement, you know, dealing with the Afrocentric movement, like uh, I'm not talking about just like Dr. Ben, but you know, on the metaphysical side, dealing with um, Bobby Hammett, Deborah Blair, people like that. Uh, Phil Valentine, he's like one of the uh, the founders of the black meta the black metaphysical movement that really took off in the early '90s, all the way up to all the way up to the early 2000s, right? And uh, I remember. I don't know when he put out the wounded womb. I think maybe like late nineties, early two thousands. But Phil Valentine put out a lecture series called The Wounded Womb. And I still got these motherfuckers on VHS tape. 
So th- that lets you know how long I've been in this motherfucker. <laughs> but uh, all the stuff that Red Pill talk about, you know, saying, uh, you know, about feminism, uh, women's disease, um, all I mean, just anything that people like Rosa Tomasi and the MGTOWs talk about, Phil Valentine was talking about that maybe like 10, 15 years earlier than before the whole Red Pill, MRA, MGTOW came about. So when you get a chance, uh, go on YouTube and type in Dr. Phil Valentine, uh, The Wounded Womb, and you'll find, uh, you know, you'll find the video on YouTube if you can find it. Actually, I just uh, typed in the search engine like an hour ago. I just uh, discovered this everything because you know like a lot of old videos especially like dealing with the the black meta black metaphysical movement like bobby hemmett's video stuff like that a lot of them get taken down <laughs> you know what I'm saying back in the day you can find like a whole bunch of bobby's videos but you, you really gotta find you really gotta catch it before they take them down but uh they might end up taking this one i don't know how long this, actually this one been around since 2017 so it's been up for like quite a while but uh, when he sat down to watch uh, the Wood the Womb series, and actually he wrote a book called The Wood the Womb. I think he's still buying Amazon, I believe. But, you know, he was ahead of, he was way ahead of the Red Pill, like way, way ahead, right be- way before. And he's talking about this back in the 90s. So I want to give uh, Dr. Phil Valentine props. And also, let me give you this other guy that uh, I've been. Uh, I, I knew about uh, Dr. Henry Macau. Um, I remember, like, way back, I used to watch the, uh, I don't say I watched, but uh, I'm a big, there's this radio show that was similar to Art Bell, but it was called the Jeff Rent, the Jeff Rents radio show. Back in the day, he would talk about paranormal stuff, kind of like, kind of like Art Bell. But uh, Jeff Rents, uh, he used to have a guest on named Henry Macau, and he had a um, a website called SaveTheMails.com, and uh, and actually this is the website right here. You can type it in, then HenryMacau.com pop up, pop no, his website will uh, pop up. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he talks about uh, you know a lot of stuff the Red Pill are talking about now. He was talking about that like way back in the '90s. So he's another guy who uh, who's pretty much talk about red pill concepts before it was called red pill, you know. But you know he does he does with all kinds of stuff. He does with politics, and you know as you can see. But uh, you know what I'm saying. But uh, you just uh, type in uh, Henry Macau dot com. Uh, he was a uh, you know he's one of the guys who's really talking about uh, feminism and. Uh, the war against the boys, you know, war against masculinity, stuff like that, and everything. You know, plus he talks about like the Illuminati, Illuminati, and all this kind of stuff. But uh, you know, he's another guy you need to check out. But you know, go in his archives, you he'll, he'll you you see like a lot of uh, articles he wrote about, you know, you know how feminism is destroying destroying society and the family and stuff like that. But uh. But he just, uh, these are just like a few people, of course, you know, about Shurzad Ali, who wrote the book, uh, The Black Man's Guide to the Black Woman. Uh, let me see if I can find that right quick. I wonder if I can find it. Uh, I can't even spell her name. Let me see. Uh, Shirazad Ali, there she is. Uh, she was uh, talking about uh, red pill concepts like way, way back in the day, and uh, you know, and actually she was just she was just she was just on uh, mediocre tutorials and reviews channel. She did she did she was on the interview with him uh, a couple months ago, and uh, so she's another one that's. Uh, you can say like lay the foundation to what we call the red pill, but uh, I know I'm just uh, talking and rambling and stuff like that. This is like a very impromptu video, you know what I'm saying? But uh, when I get my notes together and everything, I'll make, I'll make a more comprehensive video uh, talking about you know where this whole red pill MGTOW came from and the ones who were do who were talking about it before it was called that, 
You know what I'm saying? And if you guys in the comments know if anybody else who I've forgotten, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, but when you get like I said, when you guys get a chance, man, check out what uh brother Dr. Phil Reverend Dr. Phil Valentine was talking about, the wounded womb. Check check him out. Uh check out Barbarossa, Henry Macau, uh sister Shirazad Ali, and also uh, old school Tom Likas. You know, so you can find you can find like Tom Likas. And the thing with Tom Likas, I think he's a he's a lips hard now. <laughs> I think he's like a, a leftist. You know, but back in the day when he hit, when he had his radio show, you can still find his archives on YouTube. So just uh, he's like one of the you know the founders who laid the foundation of it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, check these guys out. And just uh, I'm not gonna hold your hand. Just uh, guys, do your own research, do your own digging. Check out the videos I showed on this video. And uh, just uh, come to your own conclusions and you have to find some new information. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's all I got to say. All right. Peace.